We begin with a life after death, a parent's mission to bring stillborn prevention to the United States. One family says there are simple procedures that could have saved their daughter Valentina and could save someone else from the heartbreak they feel every day. Current News Jessica Easthope has more from Manhattan. Mm -hmm. The moment a baby is born, everyone in the room waits for a sound. A cry that lets them know the baby's breathing. And this is the footprints. And then this is the, the death certificate. Crystal Rivera Velez and Christian Ortiz are still waiting. Giving birth and not hearing her. That hurt just as much as when the doctor told me there was no heartbeat. This is our urn. On December 8th, 2021, Crystal gave birth to their daughter Valentina. The only cries she heard were her own. Valentina was dead. She says, uh, I'm sorry, there's no heartbeat, the baby's dead. Like, just like that. And then it's like, oh my God, like, I thought I was going home with my baby. And that is not happening now. For nine months, Christian and Crystal had been loud and proud expecting parents, telling their family and friends the best was yet to come. They always told me that I was good, that I was like a textbook perfect pregnancy. That's what they were telling me. The cause of death was officially listed as cord compression, but Valentina, who was born full term, was just three pounds, seven ounces. An autopsy showed Valentina's growth was restricted and her death was preventable. That's when we started asking questions about how did she really die? After months of grieving, Crystal and Christian decided to speak up. They created the nonprofit Valentina's Voice, helping parents pay for neonatal autopsies and collect data to hopefully prevent another loss. It is not fair for a researcher to go grab research from this hospital and they have unclean data. Crystal and Christian never got to hear Valentina's voice. This is all I have left of being a parent. As her father, I have to do it. But somehow they're using it to amplify their own. In Manhattan, Jessica Easthope, Currents News. Joining us now, Valentina's father, Christian Ortiz. Christian, thank you so much for being here. I know it's not easy for you. Thank you for having me. Uh, that was hard to watch, and uh, I decided to wear a suit today. So. I know, I know. I, I mean, you just watched the beginning of your life's work, which unfortunately comes with your daughter's death. What is it like grappling with that? It's tough. It's tough. Um, you know, the beginning was, uh, you know, no showers, no, no, no brushing teeth. Uh, there was two, two suicide attempts in my household. Um, it was, it's, it's still tough, you know. Um, it's still tough, especially when I watch stuff like that. It's very I can difficult. Imagine. And I, I want to go over some facts really quickly. Every year, more than 22,000 babies are born, are stillborn. Nearly half of those are preventable. Grieving parents are given the choice of whether or not to have an autopsy performed on their baby, but less than 20% say yes. Why is that? And why did you decide to have the autopsy? That's a great question. So uh, the narrative in autopsies needs to change, okay? Perinatal autopsies are not a desecration of your child's body. They are micro incisions through the body uh, without not, nothing on the face or the hands. You can still have an open casket. And I think in the moment of hearing your child that has no heartbeat, um, chaos ensues and the mother is always usually drugged up, right? So then it's a hard decision to make at that moment. <coughs> and the doctors are under a lot of pressure to uh, issue a cause of death at that moment. So they eyeball it. Mm. So they eyeball it. Um, and you just knew that the cause of death they gave you was not Correct. So if she had been born at six pounds, I would have taken the doctor's word for it. Because she was born at 3.7 pounds, I just couldn't, I just could not take, mm -hmm. full term, mm -hmm. for 37 weeks, I could not take a word for it. So we decided to go for the autopsy. Crystal did not want to do it, mm -hmm. but I just, I needed answers. And I, I just could not wrap my head around the 3.7 pounds at full term for a textbook pregnancy. Absolutely, and you mentioned that the doctors are pressured to put a cause of death. And I want you to talk about you. You said you mentioned data hygiene. You created a database. Yeah. What goes into that? So we didn't create the database. We're working with partners: uh, okay. University uh, of Michigan, uh, University of Utah, and also Star Legacy Foundation, who's creating uh, the largest database globally for stillbirth. So. For now, if somebody were to take Valentina's uh, cause of death and try to issue research on it, it would be it would be wrong. 
because it would show that it was a core compression, act of God, there's nothing to further to do. My daughter's death was preventable, so we want to make sure that these autopsy reports are funneled through to these institutions so that researchers can grab whatever data points they want and we can learn how to, first of all, understand how these things happen and then start issuing some guidelines on how we could prevent them. Right, okay. And now, I know right now you're still in the fundraising stage. So how much money do you actually need to make this all work? Yeah, so um, autops, perinatal autopsies cost about $1,500 on average, mm. right? So we want to do 50 in our first year, okay? okay? So to make all this work, uh, you know, with overhead, about 100 k for year one. Okay. And we're on track for that. All right. I'm glad to hear that, Christian. Great mission here. We certainly wish you and Crystal all the best here, and Thank we're you. praying for you. Thank you. All right. And you can do more than donate money. For more support for parents, just visit valentinasvoice.org. There you can donate to help pay for perinatal autopsies with the hope of lowering preventable stillbirths. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.